Hey, Sierra. Do you have a minute? Yeah. Okay. Can I just sit here? Yeah, that's fine. Just come in, we'll have a seat. I have a letter from your mom. Okay. It made me feel more comfortable getting a letter from my mom because that, like, it made me feel like I wasn't so secluded here. My dearest Sierra, I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you about things you do that upset and hurt me. When you call me names and tell me you hate me, it hurts me tremendously. You refuse to do things around the house. You tell me it's my responsibility, not yours. You show me very little, if any, respect and are embarrassed to be with me. I try to do everything I can for you, but your expectations are at times unreasonable. You and I both know that sometimes you don't tell me the truth or only half truth. Lying causes mistrust in people. Always know that I love you and will be here for you. I love and miss you so much and always will love mom. Mm. Yeah. So what do you think? Um, I mean, it's true. Why are you crying? <laughs> it just upsets me, because... Because you're a mom. You know how it feels. I could just hear a mom that would do anything for her child. I just didn't know some of the things she had talked about. Like? You know, it's really hard to raise kids. Yeah. So, are you surprised at some of the things she wrote? I didn't know it really hurt her feelings that bad. So, I mean, I don't want her to feel like that. I don't know, I guess I'll be nicer to her. Sierra's walls are so thick that they, they're not just harming her by keeping her from embracing the world around her. It's shutting everybody else away from her. It hurts her mom. I guess hear your mom is really yeah. important and understand where she's coming from. Right. So, it was sad, you know, to see that it didn't quite affect Sierra like it did me. All right, well, just let me know if there's something that you want to talk about or whatever, because I'm here. Okay, okay. thank you. Uh huh. Have you ever heard of geocaching? It's kind of like a great big Easter egg hunt. So do you want to go do it? Okay, come on. Sierra and I just need to spend time with each other, and I need to dig a little deeper. This is what we do. Look for ones near here. Mm. The clue is Roger Love Charlotte. Oh, here I found a Roger Love Charlotte forever. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So now you just want to look around because it's hidden. Don't know. Did you find it? Yeah. Pull them out. A oh, cool. guitar. <laughs> a snake. So we have to sign your name onto it. Just put it back where you found it. I don't know where exactly it was. Under there. It was nice to spend time with Tracy because like, it's nice when we just have fun together. Just enjoy the day. Tell me about your dad. Is he, like, active in your life? Not really. Like, we don't have a bad relationship, mm -hmm. but we just don't talk a lot. Is there a reason why? I don't think he, I don't want to say he doesn't care. It's just he doesn't, like, put effort in, ever. It sounds a lot like you. I mean, really, have you thought about that? No. I mean, it sounds like your mom just would give you yeah. the shit off her back. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like your dad's a little more reserved, like he has a wall. That's obviously I it. mean, you're trying to protect yourself. Yeah. I guess I don't know how to like, show it, I guess. I don't feel like I should, like have to like express how much I care. So why not change today? Why not say, you know what? I love you, mom. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I will then, I will. She wanted to say what she thought I wanted to hear. The manipulation was back in place. I'm going to try my best to, like, change. I don't want you to try. I want you to do it. Yeah. Be there for her. Like, you want him to be there for you. Right. Right? You want to go back and have something to eat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That sounds good. OK. I do want to work on not having my guard up towards my mom. Um, I know it's bad, and I know it's making our relationship, like, harder. 